today i want to say about the second year botany topics the first question is what are the advantages of selecting pea plants for mendel's experiments for this question the first point is it is an, an annual plant that has a well defined characteristics so that the pea plant is an annual plant and it has a very well defined characteristics and it can be grown and crossed very easily actually the pea plant has a bisexual flowers containing both male and female parts that means in a single flower female and male parts are there so that is known as a bisexual flower so the, this pea plant has that type of bisexual flowers so it can be self fertilized conveniently because it has both and the male and female characteristics that means the male and female parts in a single flower so it can be self fertilized conveniently and it has a short life cycle and produces a large number of offspring offspring means next generation plants so these five points are in textbook so these five points are very essential and enough for public examinations for four marks and next question is what is meant by dominant character and recessive character the character which expressed in first generation the character which expressed in first generation is called as dominant character and here we take for example height is the criteria for this example capital p means tall small p means dwarf so these are the characteristics of a plant so capital p capital t small p small t both male and female flowers we have to take for this experiments actually p capital t into capital p equal to two capital t capital t into small t equal to capital t small t capital t into small t equal to capital t small t small t into small t equal to double small t so in this manner if we take that plants for hybridization purpose in f1 generation 3 is to 1 ratio we have to observe very carefully what are that 3 is to 1 means actually the tall character is in three plants that means this plant this plant this plant but the completely dwarf character is only in one plant so 3 is to 1 is the ratio for f1 generation so in f1 generation this tall character is expressed dominantly dominantly so dominantly is nothing but it is expressed in three plants that the tall character expressed in three plants in f1 generation so that is known as that means that the tall character is here as a dominant character so dominant character means what the character which is expressed in f1 generation is known as a dominant character the part is meant by recessive character the character which are expressed in f1 generation is known as a recessive character that means uh, here small t both small t that is a recessive character here also if we take uh, all these uh, four plants uh, here also small t is present here also small t is present but uh, that the small t is the recessive character here so it does not uh, express in f1 generation that's why 
that the small t is a recessive character. So the character which is unexpressed in F1 generation, F1 means a failure. So in F1 generation is known as a recessive character. Here the recessive character is only the small t. That means a dwarf character is expressible in F1 generation. But the tall character is expressible in F1 generation. Small character is not expressible. Small, that means a dwarf character is not expressible. That means a small t. That's why it is known as a recessive character. So the character which is unexpressible in F1 generation, here that is dwarf character is known as a recessive character. And next, what is homozygous and heterozygous? Differentiate between homozygous and heterozygous. Homo means same, hetero means different. So, homozygous, zygous means genes. So, an individual which is having two similar genes for a single character is known as a homozygous. Here, we take a tall and tall, or dwarf and dwarf plant. So, this uh, tall, this is small, the dwarf character. So, an individual having two similar genes, that means uh, here two genes are same, that the tall genes are present in this uh, plant. Here, dwarf genes are present, both the genes are dwarf. So, an individual which is having two similar genes, same genes, similar is nothing but the same genes for a single character is known as a homozygous. But uh, next, heterozygous. An individual having two dissimilar genes for a single character. An individual having two dissimilar genes for a single character. That means here if we take this plant, different uh, genes are present. Capital T is there, small t is there. Capital T represents what? Tall character. But a small t represents what? Dwarf character. Here also, dwarf character and tall character. So, both characters are mixed in a single plant. So, an individual having two dissimilar, that means this is not equal to this, this is not equal to this. So dissimilar, that means here tall character is there and also the small character, the dwarf character is also there. So that the small t represents a dwarf, but the big t represents a tall character. So two dissimilar genes are present in a single individual and for a single character is nothing but heterozygous. So, the, uh, this uh, dominant and recessive characters uh, and also homozygous and heterozygous, uh, these are very essential for four marks. They will ask in public examinations about these questions. Uh, actually, in what way they will ask means uh, differentiate between dominant character and recessive character, like that one question. And here, what is meant by homozygous and heterozygous or differentiate between homozygous and heterozygous. They will ask uh, such type of questions for public examinations. That's why if you able to remember this uh, small questions uh, and if you write uh, these points uh, for four marks, uh, that is enough. Uh, so if you like uh, this uh, video, you please subscribe to my channel. Thank you to all.